Hello, my little family. How are you today? Hopefully fantastic. I'm super excited because we're going to the family's place. We're going to go up to the farm and go ice skating and have a bonfire. It's Christmas Eve, so woohoo! Of course, by the time you see this, it won't be Christmas Eve, but it's Christmas Eve now. <laughs> Right on the bum. You have to be careful you get a big old crack in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? I get to see my family. Okay, so I'm sure if you clicked on this, you read the title of this video, which is, could this possibly be the most amazing thing I have found in TJ Maxx this year? And I honestly think it is. And I'm gonna show you. Yes, this is the Marc Jacobs Stiletto Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I've already taken it out of the box. I'm filming this after I film my video, but we're gonna check this out and get into this look I've got going on right here for Christmas Eve. Really quick, I'm wearing my dragonfly earrings and I fixed my necklace. See how cute it is? This is the necklace my daughter made me. It's funny because I've been wearing it for the past couple of days and I kept noticing my dog sniffing at it. And I was like, why do they keep sniffing at it? And I smelled it and it smells like the ocean. So I know, <laughs> just a little blowback to home, <laughs> beach, home, you know, Florida, that. Anyways, let's get into the video, shall we? Okay, so if you watched the intro, which I assume you did, you know today we're gonna be working with the Marc Jacobs Stiletto palette. I'm really excited about this and I couldn't even believe, it still blows my mind that I found this in TJ Maxx because it's hard enough to find anything like decent in TJ Maxx anymore because it's always so picked through, especially not Marc Jacobs stuff, but I couldn't believe this because I'd actually seen a review, like ugh, several reviews on this palette. And I was like, oh my God, that's a nice palette. And when I saw it in there, there was only two, there was only two in there. One looked like it had been like checked out and looked through, it didn't look swatched, but it looked like the box was all foobard. And then that one, which the box was still in great shape. And I looked in it and it was completely pristine mind blown. So I was really stoked, right? I mean, come on, you can't buy this on the Marc Jacobs Beauty website anymore. Or well, you can, well, it says sold out on the Marc Jacobs website, but you can still buy it on Sephora. And Sephora, it's $49.50. $49.50 for this. I got it for $19.99, <laughs> which is a hell of a deal. So I'm going to read you what it says on the Sephora website for details. <laughs> and I love this description. <laughs> what it is, an eyeshadow palette that features seven shades and four finishes. What else you need to know? Empower your inner eye makeup stylist with this ultra luxe eyeshadow palette featuring four fashion finishes, including buttery matte velvet, shimmering satin, sparkling silk, and metallic lame. This limited edition palette and a reflective chrome case features the same super plush shadow formulation as the original iconic covering lids and lasting velvety rich pigment make the ultimate impression in a covetable mix of unexpected neutrals and smoky shimmers. Just so you know, makeup should not be coveted. Covetable is a terrible, I don't like that word for makeup. So more important things to covet than makeup. But on that note, we're gonna do an eye look with this because it's pretty. All right, so it comes in this little inner sleeve like so, and then you gotta be careful because it'll just slide right out of there. But this is what it looks like. Ah, hold on. <laughs> yes, I've used it. 
Well, better. Hey, there's my ring light. Whoop, whoop. There's my camera. Hello, camera. So that's what it looks like. This is the back. It has the names on the back, which is good. And it's got a push button. You gotta push this puppy in to open it up. So it comes with a mirror. It has a mirror in it. And then these are the shadows. This one looked a lot prettier before I started sticking my nubby fingers into it. So it was beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful, but it's just not pristine. It looks marbly when you first get it. On that note, let's dive into it. So this shade I'm gonna go in with, this is Rule. This is a really, really nice light, almost white shade. It's just off-white. And today I did use just my concealer with a translucent set. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush. Look at that, it's super light. Okay, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this, which is the concrete shade right here. And that's just a tad deeper than the lightest shade. Well, I mean, it's definitely deeper, but when you blend it out, it's not super, super deep. I'm so excited to go skating today and see my family. It's been a long time since I've been up to the farm and I haven't seen my nieces and nephew in a while, so I'm very excited. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And I get to see my sister-in-law, Amy. She's super funny. She's like one of those silly, sarcastic, funny people that she's just fun to be around. So I'm very excited about that. It's been a long time, too long. Okay, I think I'm happy where that blend is. So next I'm gonna take this one next to it. I know I'm just going in a row, going in a row. But that one is called Jungle, right here. And it's, it's got purple undertones. It's like a purple gray. Graper, grapele, grapele. I that's what I get for trying to make up words, right? It's it's neither, it's just, it's called Jungle. Not really quite sure where they got the name Jungle for it. I don't associate the jungle with gray, purpley, mauve colors, I guess. That'd be interesting to find out. I'd, I'd like to know. How'd you come up with that name for this color? I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color and do underneath. Okay, I'm gonna go into Sparkler right here. And let me show you what this color looks like because it is very pretty. And I'm gonna put that right here. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's got such a pretty micro glitter reflection to it. It's, it's beautiful. It's so lovely. I just want to keep packing it on my eyes until you just can't see lit anymore. <laughs> I know, weird. What can I say? I'm just going to take a light dusting of this and just kind of Pull it lightly down over the darker matte shade. Oh, so pretty. That is just... It's hard to explain because it's a dark shadow, but it's just so luminescent. It has so much light refraction that it shows up beautifully. And then finally, I'm going to take this color in the center, which is called Sidewalks. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to take my little fluffy flat brush and just kind of pull this in to blend it. You know what, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go back into this with my little tiny brush and just put a little on top of that inner corner. I do have to say, this, this shade does not work as well with a brush as it does with your finger. So now I'm going to go off camera and eyeliner it up and mascara and you know the drill and I'll be right back. Woo! Okay, so here's the finished look. I kind of finished it off by throwing a little blush on and I'm using the Too Faced Chihuahua Melted Lipstick and I threw a little bit of Star, this one, on as highlighter from my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. And here we are. I feel like actually this is a pretty good holiday look. So little glam but not like super bright colors to where everybody in my family is gonna be like Woo! <laughs> hopefully you like this look and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell and it'll let you know every time I'm uploading Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.